Hi everyone, welcome to Parade. I'm Kelly Strack and on my channel, I show all things makeup and beauty. Today, I'm gonna to be bringing you some high-end and affordable holiday beauty gift ideas with Deluxe or Dupe Gift Guide. We're in the holiday shopping season, so what better way to kick it off than checking out some amazing beauty gift ideas. I've done a ton of research and I'm gonna give you some great beauty gift ideas at the affordable price point and also the more deluxe high-end price point. I'm gonna show you guys on my face today how to get the look all together. If you're wanting a great gift idea for a makeup lover in your life or just somebody who wants a good base kit, these would all be amazing options. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I already have my base done today, my foundation concealer and brows. I wanted to focus today's video on the beauty products that are typically given as gifts. So like eyeshadows, blushes, lip products. Um, so I did already do my base, but I'm going to show you everything else on my face today. And for every category, we have a high-end pick and an affordable pick. All right, so we are first gonna jump in and get started on the eyes. I'm going to do this out of my face as high-end and we're gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This is a stunning palette, perfect for a gift idea. I'm first gonna jump in with the shade Sauced and I'm going to apply this right in my crease and just buff it out as a neutral transition shade. And now on the dupe side, we're gonna jump in with the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Decadent Palette. And this is such a beautiful and affordable dupe. It retails for only $15, where the Urban Decay Naked Heat is 47. So on this palette in my crease, I'm gonna jump in with Sienna. And I'm gonna buff that into the crease on this side, just using back and forth windshield wiper motions. Then on the high-end side, I'm gonna go in with the shade Cayenne in the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and buff this into the crease to add a little warmth and dimension to the eye. I personally love warm tone neutrals and these blend flawlessly. They just look so pretty on the eye. Jumping into the dupe palette, we're gonna go in with the shade Fortitude, which is super similar. And I'm gonna buff that into the crease on this side. And all of these shadows that we have used so far are matte shadows. So they do not have any shimmer to them, but they are blending flawlessly on both sides. And you guys can see the eyes look pretty similar. Then I'm gonna jump in with the shade Dirty Talk in the Urban Decay Naked Heat. This is a shimmer shade, so it has a nice sparkle to it, and I'm going to pack this all over the lid. You can use a nice flat top eyeshadow brush to do this, or you can use your finger, whatever you prefer to just pack this color on the lid. How pretty is that? On the dupe side, I'm gonna jump in with the shade Plush in the Makeup Revolution palette. This is also a shimmer shade. I'm gonna pack it on the lid. This one actually looks like it has a little bit more shimmer to it than the Urban Decay shade did. A little more glitter in this shade, but overall the colors are very, very similar, and I think the final look will be very similar. This shadow pulls a little bit more foiled instead of straight shimmer like the Urban Decay. To highlight, I'm gonna jump into the shade Ounce in the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, and I'm gonna pack this in the inner corner as well as right beneath the brow bone just to highlight and emphasize that area. I like to emphasize that arched part of the brow to just draw the eye there. And then on the other side, we're gonna go in with the shade Majesty and apply in the exact same spots on this side. I like highlighting the inner corner as well to really give that open kind of lifted look to the eyes. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the shade He Devil. And I'm just gonna buff this on our lower lash line to smoke everything out and blend everything together. And on the other side, I'm gonna jump in with the shade Splendid. This is also a matte shade in the terracotta kind of range. And I'm just doing the exact same thing to blend on the lower lash line. This shade has a little bit more purple than the other side does, but overall, I think the look is very similar. Now we're gonna go in with mascara. So on the high-end side, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This is so good, one of my absolute favorites. On the dupe affordable side, I'm gonna be going in with the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara, which is also one of my absolute favorites. They both pack on a ton of volume and make your lashes look flawless. So I'm just gonna jump in and curl both sides of my lashes before we go in and apply the mascara to get them nice and standing up straight. Okay, lashes are curled, so we're gonna jump in with Too Faced Damn Girl on the high-end side. This mascara retails for $26. You guys can get it at Sephora. And I'm gonna just go in and wiggle this on my lashes. And I will also wiggle this mascara on my lower lashes as well. 
And you just need to be careful with this one because the wand is a little bit bigger. So when you're on your lower lashes, you do have to be a little bit more precise, but this is a great mascara for people that are, that have super busy lives that are in a hurry because it packs on a ton of volume really fast because of the size of the wand. So now we're gonna jump in to the other side and use the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara, which is very, very similar. Like even the packaging looks super similar. They're like pretty pink chrome. And this retails for about $13. The price of drugstore more affordable makeup can vary more widely than the high-end products can. So depending on where you purchase it, the price can change slightly, but you should be able to get this at most national drugstores. This mascara does have a smaller wand, so it makes it a little bit easier on the lower lash line when we go to apply it down there. I like to do my top lashes first and then move to my lower lashes. And wiggle the mascara on the lower lashes as well. And I think we are good to go on this side. For our bronzer on the high-end side, I'm gonna jump in with the Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. This is so beautiful. So you get bronzers and highlighters in this palette. I have different highlighters that we're gonna be testing out today, but everything in here is beautiful. But we are gonna focus on this bronzer right here first to bronze up this side of our face. This is a pricier palette. It retails for about $55 at Sephora, but it's really beautiful. And again, you do get so many different options with it. So I think it would be a great gift option. So I'm gonna apply this to my cheek and blend it out. I'm not used to just doing one side of my face with the product, so I think I went a little heavy handed, but it's easy to blend out with just a clean brush to just help blend and diffuse the product. Natasha Denona's products are pricey, but they are very easy to work with, so they are a favorite of mine. So just focusing this in a three motion on my face to sculpt and bronze. Now on our more affordable dupe side, we're gonna be going in with a different face palette. This is from Pixi, and this is the Summer Glow Palette. And this palette retails for $20. You can find it at Target. And this is in the shade Sheer Sunshine. They have a couple of different versions of this. And I'm gonna jump in with this bronzer right here to bronze up this side of my face. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side in the same kind of motion. With the Pixi palette, it's not as pigmented as the Natasha Nona palette. You will have to dip in a little bit more, but overall, you can get the same look. You know, there's really not a significant difference on either side of my face. I just do have to dip my brush a couple more times with this palette. But overall, we are looking nice and bronzy. And this palette is nice because it does have a mix of both matte and shimmer shades. So you can do a lot with this palette. Okay, for our highlight, which is my personal favorite category of makeup and I think would make an awesome gift idea, whether you're going for more of a splurge item or an affordable item. So on the splurge side, we're gonna be going in with the Laura Mercier highlight in the shade Addiction. This is so pretty, a beautiful gold. And I'm gonna pop this on my cheeks. Now with all the highlights that I tell you guys about today, there are a variety of different shades. So I'm just using the shade that's best suited for my skin tone. But that can of course be changed based on whom you're purchasing a gift for or if it's for yourself. So I'm gonna go on this side with the beautiful Laura Mercier highlight and make these cheekbones glow, honey. <gasps> I love. Super, super beautiful, super glowy. Ooh! And this retails for $45, you guys can get it at Sephora. Now on the other more affordable side, we're gonna jump in with the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlight. I have this one in the shade Twilight Gleam. And this retails for about $12 and you can find it at most drugstores. And I'm going to pop this on this side of my face. Oh, so beautiful as well. You guys can see overall, they're very, very similar, both very glowy and pretty and really emphasize that cheekbone area. So I love Love that. I normally bring my highlight down the center of my face, but it's kind of hard because we're doing the half and half. So I'm gonna use the Revlon affordable one down my nose. And then I will switch out to the Laura Mercier highlight to highlight my Cupid's bow, which is right above my lips right here. So we have both of them in the center of our face. Now for blush, I'm gonna jump in to the NARS Orgasm Blush on the high-end side. This is a cult favorite, a beautiful blush, suits a variety of different skin tones and is just so stunning. This retails for $30 at Sephora. And I'm gonna go in on this side and just tap this on my cheekbones. It's a really pretty coral shade with a light gold kind of fleck of glitter in it, but it doesn't look super glittery on the face. It's just beautiful and adds a really pretty kind of glow to the skin. For the dupe side, we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Blush Please Blush. This is in the shade of Blushin' in Riviera. This retails for about $10 and you can find it at Walmart. This is super similar, like a corally pink shade with that gold glitter. You guys can see it when I apply it to the cheeks, it really doesn't look very different. Great for that flushed cheek kind of look. 
Now for our lips. So on the high-end side, we're gonna be going in with one of my absolute favorites. This is the MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love. It's a matte shade and it's super beautiful. This retails for about $19. You guys can get it at the MAC counter or MAC stores. So I'm going to go in and apply to this side. This is my favorite everyday lip color. It's beautiful and the matte finish allows it to last a very long time. It feels so weird to only be applying this to half of my lips, but that is what it looks like. And now an amazing dupe for that is Revlon Untold Stories. So you guys can get this at any drugstore. It retails for about eight to nine dollars depending on where you get it. It's also a matte finish and the shades are very similar. So I'm gonna apply that on this side. If you guys see, the Revlon one has a little bit more purpley undertones to it, where the MAC one is a little bit more red pinkish undertones. But overall, the color is very, very similar and the finish is the same. They're both matte. So they're both long lasting. Like even having them on my lips both right next to each other, you can't tell a significant difference. Now for lip gloss on the high end side, I'm gonna jump in with the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is in the shade Fussy. This is my personal favorite. I have the little mini one right here, but the typical larger size retails for $19 and you can get it at Sephora. They do also have little gift sets that have little minis like this in there at Sephora as well for the holidays. So I'm going to apply this on the high end side. It smells so good. It smells like a Starburst candy or something. I love it. So I'm gonna go in and apply this to give a little shine to the lips. And then on the affordable dupe side, we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have this in the shade Moon. It's a super similar shade, as you guys can see. This retails for about $9 at most drugstores. I'm gonna go in on this side and apply this. As you can tell, they're like almost identical. Definitely a really nice dupe. And this Maybelline Lifter Gloss actually has hyaluronic acid in it too, which is really nice for the lips. All right, you guys, so that is the completed look. I think it came out really good and super similar on both sides, despite the fact that we use completely different products. I think all of these products would make amazing gift ideas for the beauty lover in your life. Whether you go with the more high-end products or the more affordable products, they all make great gifts depending on price point. And they're all great deals because they're all great makeup. I hope that my holiday gift guide made your shopping this year a little bit easier. Make sure to subscribe to Parade's YouTube channel if you wanna see more videos like this. And be sure to check out my channel, which is just titled Kelly Strack, for more makeup try-ons and reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.